Pause for a second, take a deep breath and think you are going to make some big changes in your life in the next few months. Are you scared of what the outcome might be? Then this is the perfect time to reinvent your life. Whether personal or professional, people are usually scared when it comes to making big changes in their life. But trust me, it's not as difficult as it sounds. But why should we undergo change when everything is running smoothly? Was that the next question somewhere you were going to ask? Well, if so, then come, come with me and let's go and discuss it. What's going on, guys? Richard Rosa with the Personal Development Channel. Today, I'll be covering a few tips to help with reinventing yourself. And these are small tips, but can make a difference. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if at any point you like what you see, then give it a like. Let's get to it. So why should we reinvent ourselves? Reinvention is a term that has lost a lot of weight. We humans are not meant to run around in circles. Everything around us, like the sun, the moon, seasons, and so on, teaches us that change is a must. As soon as you say that you are done, you are no longer stretching yourself, which means you stop growing. Reinvention provides you with endless opportunities to keep exploring new parts of yourself. Wayne Dwyer once said, change the way you look things and things you look at change here are a few tips to help you get started to reinventing yourself the first one is discover your strengths this step provides valuable information on how you deal with certain situations if you have this information you'll be able to manage difficulties more efficiently to find out what your strengths are you can ask your friends and colleagues for feedback engage in self-reflection, or you can analyze your successes. While failure can be a great teacher at times, success can also bring more success. Any experience with whether positive or negative can be a teaching tool for the individual if that individual is willing to utilize it. Next one on the list is plan. This step calls for a thorough assessment of your current emotional, psychological, and financial status so that you can develop plans that are realistic and practical. It's okay to have ambitious dreams, but your plans have to be realistic. Making use of smart goals can help you plan your life better. You can also consult a mentor or a life coach for practical tips and advice, but ultimately, you'll want to create specific long-term and short-term goals that you can create milestones for. And by doing this, you'll lay out a specific roadmap to your reinvented self. I'm actually in the process of creating a series of episodes on some of the tools and methods I use in life coaching with clients. And the idea is that you could use this yourself. Let me know in the comments if this is something you would find helpful. Okay, the next one is don't be afraid to experiment. Experimenting with your life helps you to say goodbye to your fears. And this will be the major step towards reinventing yourself. Do what you enjoy. Don't wait for the right time to try something you always wanted to try. Sometimes we don't know if solutions actually work until we try them out. This is why it's so important to experiment whenever possible, especially if you're dealing with a career change. You may need to simply experiment in order to find the things that you like. This can be done with hobbies. If you're not sure what you'd like to do, then accept invitations from friends. Join them in their favorite sports. Take a class and see how it goes. By seeing what's out there in any area of your life, you'll have a better chance of finding the things you enjoy and the goals that you want to create. Okay, next, attach yourself to the right people. I have said this so many times in previous episodes. But with the internet, it's getting much easier to connect with people from all over the world. We meet new people every day, online or offline, from all walks of life. So it's better to identify and connect with people who can change you for the better. The right people will encourage you to make the right changes required for growth. Okay, so the next one, guys, is make yourself uncomfortable. People usually get stuck when they become too comfortable with their lives. Reinvention cannot be attained by continuing to be the person you currently are. It demands you to step out of your comfort zone, 
take risks, apply simple changes to your everyday lifestyle. Like try some jam if you haven't yet instead of butter with your morning bread or wear a color that you're too shy to wear. These small risks sound silly, but they will make a big difference in how you feel sometimes. They can help and support with your confidence. They can help and support with change. And then ultimately in the end, they'll open up new opportunities. And then the final one for today is accept failure. Failure is normal, especially when we're trying out something new. When you fail, simply recognize it, learn from it and move on. Failure in the end is the best way to learn what does and doesn't work. And you simply won't be able to learn how to reinvent yourself if you don't accept the inevitable failures that await you. If you truly want to learn how to reinvent yourself and live the life you desire, give a few of these tips a go. Take your time, be patient and put plenty of time into making the change. Okay, here we go. Challenge time, guys. If you do want to make some positive changes for yourself or are on the quest for reinventing yourself, then get some feedback from the next five people you speak to. Ask them for areas that they feel you could improve on and also what they believe you're great at. This will give you areas to work on and also support you in what you're good at, which can help you where you want to go. Share your challenge experience with us in the YouTube comments or tag us on Instagram using at Rosa Mindset. That's it for today, everyone. Hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the content, give it a like. And if you would like to be notified of when the new episodes are released, then click the notification bell. If you'd like me to expand on anything that you see, then please comment and I will do my best to look into it. Please share if you feel this could help anybody. And finally, come and join our community on Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn. All the links are in the description below. This has been Richard Rosa. Stay safe and keep active.